Well, in Game of Thrones, the character Lord Eddard Stark said in the first season that winter is coming. For Hamilton County Schools, it's Christmas break that approaches quickly. And with the break comes change. A new superintendent in Dr. Justin Robertson and the realization that Hamilton County Schools see an equity problem. News 12's Scott Coral spoke with two board members about a new equity plan to help remedy that issue. During last week's school board meeting and after Robertson was named superintendent, this equity plan that I have in my hands was discussed. While the board says the change needs to happen, the role of the schools and the board play in fixing the divide isn't going to be easy. I don't think that I'm going to solve this problem as a board member, but I do think that the world as a whole is like thinking about these problems in a way that maybe they didn't think about whenever you were in school or whenever I was in school. The school cannot fix all of these issues. We're here to educate and this and we're getting so sidetracked by breaking kids. We're, we're just balkanizing all of our students and and we're really calling them out for their differences when we really ought to be embracing everyone for their differences. Those differences matter. Black students face discipline at a rate of nearly four times that of white students for the same offense. In the previous two years, the risk ratio of black students suspended or expelled in Hamilton County lagged behind the state. This year, Hamilton County almost tripled the state average. Representation is also an issue. Students tend to perform better when the diversity of teachers resembles that of the student body. A look at the numbers shows that whites make up 48% of Hamilton County's student body population, but teachers of color make up only 11%. The district has actually tried to get more diversity within teaching ranks, but it hasn't quite been enough. We've hired a group to help uh, hire some uh, minority teachers. And quite frankly, I'm not sure that, that that's done that much good. So I just wonder what else can we do if what we're doing is not working. The equity plan isn't going to fix everything overnight in year one or even year two. Robinson believes the new superintendent, who's been in and around Hamilton County Schools for 20 years, may need to be in for the long haul to make a difference. I think that if we have a superintendent who's willing to put in the work, even though it's going to be so hard, but they're willing to do the work for a long time, like not just a few years, but really stand by this work for close to a decade. I hope we get a decade. I would love to get a decade after out of Dr. Robertson. Um, then I think it can really, I think the, the needle can move, but it takes consistency. The equity plan has not been passed by the board and still needs tweaks to be fully considered. But one document, this document, isn't going to end the debate on how to achieve equality through equity. Reporting in the studio, Scott Coral, News 12 Now.